Panel Board or Load Center. When is something called a panel board and when is it called a load center? The CE code, the NEC, and the Underwriters Laboratory standards do not distinguish between heavy duty and light duty panel boards. After stating that, industry manufacturers commonly refer to heavy duty as panel boards and light duty panel boards as load centers. And since electrical distributors will oftentimes work directly with manufacturers on specific customer projects, it's good to take note of the distinct product characteristics between a panel board and a load center, which is what the manufacturers commonly refer to. So let's go ahead and take a look at their attributes. Starting with size, panel boards are larger size than a load center. The inside finish is generally unpainted as opposed to the load center. The end walls or knockouts are the circular perforations. And over here you'll see right here on this image that they are located over here and here in the top and bottom panels of the panel board that can be removed to provide entrances and exits for the feeder wires enclosed in the conduit. On a load center, they are one piece, factory formed knockouts. Okay, let's talk about the dead front and the front cover. So these components basically cover the front surface of the panel board. A hinged access door is provided as part of the trim. The dead front provides access to the circuit breakers themselves while preventing contact with the interior components such as the bus bars and the internal wiring. With the panel board, it will be a separate piece, whereas the load center door is attached to the dead front. The trim on the panel board is customized, and on the load center, it's standard to the box. The circuit breakers on a panel board are either plug-in or bolted on, and are factory installed when ordered. With the load center, they are plugged in and installed on location. Fuses. The fuses for the panel board are for power distribution and are designed for a quick break branch disconnect. On the load center, they are now rare. If they have them, they are the screw in type or they snap in. Now let's talk about modifications. On the panel boards, they are common because the panel boards are custom made for the individual project needs. Whereas the load center, it is a standard off the shelf product. Shipping is differentiated as well. With the panel board, the main box, front, and interior are shipped separately and assembled on location. The load center is shipped as one unit, however. Sometimes a manufacturer will offer special contractor packs and will supply the breakers that are needed and all will come in one package. The size or amp rating differ as well. With the panel board, the power distribution will go up to 1600 amps and the branch circuits off of that rate up to 1200 amps. The load center will have about 600 amp rating and a branch circuit rating of 200 amps. When you are aware of the differences, you will understand how to help customers choose the right products with the heavy duty panel boards and the light duty load centers. So that's it. We just took a look at the differences between panel boards and load centers.